Moving on to the next big story here on the Urban Debate at 9 p.m. Patanjali's Coronel is back into a controversy. They, when the day it was launched first, it ran into a massive controversy. At that point of time, the government had actually taken a different view than where it stands today. But now it's a massive war of words that uh, first broke out between the Indian Medical Association and Patanjali. Now, this is how it all started. On February 19th, Coronel upgraded, uh, was upgraded as a supportive treatment for COVID. That was the claim by Patanjali. Uh, and then they say that they have got the WHO certification. And this certification, in fact, uh, was uh, done and, and announced at an event which was attended by the Union Health Minister himself. Now, then WHO tweeted saying not certified any traditional ma medicine. Now, uh, experts tell us that this is not essentially a certificate to say that this is a treatment drug for coronavirus, but certification that kind of enables the ma manufacturers to even export this drug outside of our country. Coronel is seen as an immunity booster and for those purposes, it can be exported. But the IMA has slammed the health minister for promoting Coronel. And in fact, the Delhi Medical Association after that came out. And then they slammed the IMA for the remarks. And they're saying, you're fabricating everything to make it a sensational case. So this whole back and forth within the doctor's fraternity is taking place. Between the doctor's fraternity and the government is taking place. Between the doctor's fraternity and Patanjali is taking place. And add to all of this mix is the latest, which is the state of Maharashtra. With the Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh saying that they're not going to allow the sale of coronel in the state without proper certification from a competent authority, WHO, IMA or others. So let's get all of these stakeholders on board and try and understand what's going on. Tuin Sina of the BJP, Clyde Crasto of the NCP, Dr. Jailal, National President of the IMA joins us this evening and Dr. Parmeshwar Arora, Senior Consultant at At Ayodhma joins us this evening. Uh, Dr. Jailal, let's begin with you. Now, there is some confusion about what essentially was the approval that they got versus perhaps what it seemed to be. Uh, the, the approval or uh, the so-called certification, isn't it simply for exports, not really to say, oh, this is a drug that treats coronavirus? Yeah, as you are rightly said, it is not a certificate which is claiming the therapeutic efficacy of the drug. It is a certificate saying that manufacturing practice has been adopted in that company. Please understand, even if this is not a certificate which is enabling the company to export the drug, it is only enabling the company to apply for export license. The company, the country which is going to permit a particular drug to be exported, they will do the therapeutic study and they will permit that. But it is a mandatory requirement for application of exportation. It is a certificate of COPP which has to be received in the format issued by the WHO. It is not that the WHO is not giving, it is only the uh, our Director General of the Drug Controller is going to give. Till 2009, it was a state controller where using uh, relating the giving that certificate. And after 2009, it was only the uh, central government or the central drug controller is giving that certificate. So it is nothing to do with that. We were only concerned about that the WHO consult was shown there. And the WHO executive president, Dr. Harshvatan, and our honorable uh, I mean, uh, health minister was present there to giving a gimmick to the public that this drug has been endorsed by the uh, WHO. That is the only thing uh, in this corona pandemic, when the people are suffering, a wrong message should not go to the public, and uh, that message should not be propagated by the Honorable Health Minister. That was an objection raised by Indian Medical Association. Okay. Uh, now that seems to be an interesting point and an objection, fair objection to say, well, the government can't seem to be uh, endorsing something to give the impression that, well, this is also approved by the WHO. Well, if, I, uh, if you, you mentioned it yourself, the drug is very clearly an immunity booster and a supportive line of treatment. It is not the primary line of treatment at all. So it is equivalent to any other CADA or any other immunity booster. And there are hundreds of immu immunity boosters which, uh, which Indians have been using for the last one year. Over here, the fact that it is produced by Patanjali only adds a certain credence to it. And if two senior ministers went, uh, you know, if were there at the launch of it, they were there based on their experience of Patanjali products. 
So as an immunity booster, if we are using hundreds of other products, I, I don't see any other reason, any other any reason why we should have a problem with uh, this particular product, which has a, and the company has a proven history of producing products of similar nature. At a time when Maharashtra is producing eight has produced eight thousand cases today, I think the Maharashtra government should uh, you know rather focus on a constructive attitude than just a confrontationist attitude. Uh, no, fair enough. And I'll come to the Maharashtra point in just a bit. And Clyde is ready to raring to go. But and the, the point here is to say, what is it that you're endorsing and what is the message that you're trying to send? Because I, it, I didn't see the government ministers present here saying, oh, we are only here because we think this is a good immunity booster. So that, that has been communicated by the company. That has been communicated by the company. The, no, the no. ministers are not the ministers are not spokespersons for the company. They were no, there. The company to... said it is a therapeutic drug. Yeah. The company it never said it is an immune drug. He has provided the details, and you know we 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 have no qualms about uh, you know if I have a good experience with a certain entity and uh, with Patanjali, the, the the two honourable ministers were there based on their experience of uh, previous Patanjali products. Okay, and like so I we'll said, we'll come to the aspect no. of whether it's therapeutic or whether it's an immunity booster or what it is in just a bit. But Clyde, since Thuhin mentioned what Maharashtra is doing. Why is Maharashtra not allowing the sale? It's an immunity booster at the end of the day. Tanvi, I request you, I hope I'm not interjected. Let me finish what I'm saying. Point here is, there are doctors, there are, there's the Indian Medical Association. This thing needs to be certified by the Indian Medical Association or any competent authority. First and foremost, it's good that the BJP spokesperson went on record to say that, you know, based on the personal experience of these ministers, so and so, that means they, are, they were endorsing this product and he's also openly endorsing this product. We are not here to endorse any products. We are here for the good of the people. He can go to town about saying cases rising and all. We can have a huge debate and I'm willing to do it one-on-one -on -one with him. The point here is we will go by competent authority. When they went on that platform there, nobody spoke about immunity boosters or whatever. The chairman of the executive board of the WHO and our health minister sits there and he's not even taking cognizance of the fact that these people are not going on record to say that it's an immunity booster. He speaks a lot about what they're doing and what they're trying to say. Mm. We are not here to play with the lives of the people. We are not here to play politics. The BJP can play politics and play with lives of the people. We will not let that happen. The okay. fact of the matter here is unless and until a competent authority certifies this thing, we will not allow it to be sold in Maharashtra because we care for the people and we are working hard. The BJP can go to town saying what they want, but we are not going to risk this. We are not going to play with the lives of the people. That's for a fact. So the fact of the matter here is all those who are sitting there in that on that platform there were actually endorsing this as a COVID medicine. Whereas that's not the case after they were pulled up by the Indian Medical Association. See, Pat Patanjali is not, not, you know, for the first time doing something like this. In 2020, July also, the Uttarakhand court pulled them up. Earlier also, they were, you know, uh, uh, pulled up by the Haridwar court and fined 11 lakh rupees for, you know, misbranding their uh, Patanjali products. Those noodles, the FSSAI also pulled them up. So it's not the first time that, you know, the uh, uh, people from Patanjali or Baba Ramdev is playing games like this. Okay. He's trying to sell his product and we have our ministers who are trying to endorse it openly. So is, is, it, platform, is it a policy specific to Coronel? Clyde, will this be a policy specific to Coronel? Because almost every other drug for, for which also the efficacy is, uh, is still being researched, every, many other drugs that were uh, uh, allowed by the government to be used in treatment or, 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 of Corona uh, can also be then uh, uh, looked at. I will, yes, I will tell you on record that Anything, any medicine or drug that is not certified by a competent authority will not be allowed to be sold in, in the state. It has to be certified by a medical competent authority, whether it's uh, coronal or any other product. The Indian Medical Association or the competent authority has to certify it only then. Okay. The BJP can interject and keep saying whatever they want to say. We will not follow their policy. Okay, got your point. Dr. Parmeshwar, help us understand then. There's been a lot of back and forth uh, that has happened in the last few days. Um, wh what is it that is being claimed about Coronel now? No, first of all, I would like to ask a question from the spokesperson from NCP that whether they consider Ayush as a competent authority or not. A government ka ministry hai Ayush who has to take care about the all the quality assurances from no, the Ayur, Ayurvedic department 
to set the protocol uh, to to get the medicine registered and uh, when a company can produce it when a company can market it in india and there is a separate government department to decide whether this drug can be exported or not and jinko export karna hai countries ko they have their own their protocols वहां पर उनके प्रोटोकॉल्स पे वो मेडिसिन खरी उतरते कि नहीं उतरती आप क्या सोचते हैं आपने सर्टिफिकेट दे दिया आपसे यूएस से परचेज कर लेगा आपसे फ्रांस परचेज कर लेगा नो आल्सो द अदर गवर्नमेंट अदर कंट्रीज दे आल्सो हैव द प्रोटोकॉल पहले आप तो वो बताइए ना आप 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 उच्चार कीजिए अच्छी तरह से आयुष मिनिस्ट्री ने क्या 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 ये कोविड मेडिसिन है या इम्यूनिटी बूस्टर है तो पहले दिन क्या सोए थे क्या जब ये इसकी पब्लिसिटी हो रही थी एज अ कोविड मेडिसिन तो क्या मिनिस्ट्री सोई आप, हुई थी उसका जवाब दीजिए आप 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 उसकी बाजू ले रहे हैं और मेरे सर्टिफिकेशन की बात करें मैं कोई सर्टिफिकेट देने यहाँ नहीं आया हूँ आप भी सर्टिफिकेट ना दीजिए okay. लोगों के लोगों के जान से ना yeah, yeah, so, so that is what yeah, I yeah. wanted so Dr. Jailal, Dr. Jailal, yeah. uh, uh, I want to come to you on this आप, आप, but आपके जान में ये बात थोड़ा डाल दीजिए क्लाइट क्लाइट यू यू नो द पॉइंट दैट यू रेज इज एक्टली वॉट आई वॉज आस्किंग डॉक्टर परमेश्वर एज वेल डॉक्टर परमेश्वर लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज इट विच इज ए फैक्ट what is it that the, no, it, that it, that, madam, that it, it, uh, coronel has been given and what was claimed and later clarified let's be honest later patanjali only came out and clarified that what we are saying is that the government has given us uh, the ayush ministry has given us uh, a certificate as per the who guidelines it's nothing from who but what is that certificate for is it for immunity booster is it for treatment No, no certificate is issued even for immunity booster or not. The matter the certificate issued of the product, the liability. See, this is no the manufacturing capacity is only was given. No certificate issued. Please remember. This put this on record only. Why one at a time? One at a time. Yes, Dr. Jailal. Dr. Jailal. Dr. Jailal. Dr. Jailal. Dr. Jailal. Dr. Jailal. No we are not issued. talking here about experience. One at a time. One at a time. Please, Dr. Jailal. Let him. Let him finish. Uh, explain what is happening. Let I am explain first. Yes. The, the function it was put as a evidence based medicine the first evidence based medicine it is not a experience based medicine honorable health minister and the honorable minister of the transport cannot come into the meeting of a evidence based medicine say that it is an experience based medicine and you must have looked back into that lecture which was given by baba ramdev on that meeting it is a drug for therapy prevention it is a drug for treatment it is a drug for the post covid management also they say it is a wonder drug it is a miracle drug and they have cited an example of the study which is conducted for a pilot study with the 45 people with the asymptomatic covid condition they said this is the treatment for that and in this corona pandemic if you are without your evidence base you are saying this this is going to cure covid and this is a blatant lie and this is outrage of the indian scientific system it is available and even oish ministry has not come out clarifying their stand that we have given permission for them to treat this as a, a therapeutic drug we are never say never okay. said okay okay dr parmeshwar respond to this please sir listen yes what what i want to say you that there is different different protocols of studies and researches in both the streams ayush has their own protocols allopathic science has their own protocols so as per ayush protocol coronel has been uh, पास्ट एज इम्यूनिटी बूस्टर एंड अगर इस पूरे पेंडेमिक की हम बात करें तो एक मात्र चीज जो निकल के आई है जो कोरोना से प्रिवेंट करती है कोरोना के ट्रीटमेंट में हेल्प करती है एंड पोस्ट कोविड कॉम्प्लिकेशन को ठीक करती है दैट इज द इम्यूनिटी सो इफ वी सी द कंपोजिशन ऑफ कोरोनिल अशुगंधा गिलोय एंड तुलसी देर इज नो पॉइंट दैट दीज आर ए वेरी नेचुरल No, but, but, Arora, but Dr. Arora, but Dr. Arora, the the claim that was made, and I'm sorry for people who are not medical experts. Yes, yes. May I may I just put it in simple words, Dr. Arora? For people like me, and and dare I say even Clyde and Tuhin, who are not doctors, it can be very misleading and very confusing. So I will ask you again. you are saying this is the the whatever certification and endorsement oh. has come from ayush ministry is only for an immunity booster right because when i read the statement the statement at that point of time claim said first evidence based <laughs> medicine for covid 19 
that can be very misleading for me it makes me believe you can in use Jasa, give me a coronal list if i have coronavirus today then we don't have any specific medicine for uh, for and then then we, we know that if we maintain the immunity of a person and we have tulsi as a proven antiviral we have giloy as a proven antiviral so on ayurvedic perspective covid for covid treatment coronil can be accepted as one of the good option because we don't have the medicine this is okay. different scenario this is a pandemic even vaccine वैक्सीन वैक्सीन के बारे में नहीं कह सकते कि कितना सही साबित होगी 80 परसेंट एफिकेसी है कि 70 परसेंट एफिकेसी है एंड इट इज ओनली प्रिकॉशनरी ओके ओके वैक्सीन भी तब आपके लिए काम करेगी व्हेन यूर Preventive. Your I, 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 my sense from what you are saying is, it's preventive. It's not curative. You know, yes, Tuhin, Tuhin. I am running out of time, but quickly, Tuhin. You know the I, the the uh, allopathic doctors have a tendency to overreact every time something happens in Ayush, and that's an old pattern. Now we have an Ayurved expert sitting over here. That's if he's certifying. If there are not, please keep quiet. I have that pay, pay patience when other people. If there is an Ayurved expert who is certifying that the ingredients used are something we any which way consume, and millions of Indians have been consuming over the years, what is so special, you know, for the certification? Ayush Ministry has rendered it safe. That is something which I can tell you on record. Beyond that, you know, this entire certification thing is being overhyped. No, the, no, 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 the IMA here is saying even the even the Ayush Ministry certification is not for therapeutic purposes. Tuhin, it's about what you get and what you claim. That's the debate and confusion. Millions of Indians have been consuming the same ingredients. We are a democratic nation. If Clyde does not want to consume okay. it, I can't hear anybody. One at a time, please. One at a time. Clyde, Clyde, what are you saying? Yes, Clyde. Just Clyde, please. But try not to your own thing. Clyde. My my thing is very simple. From what I hear on your debate, first of all, you know the BJP spokesperson doesn't mind do, do, indulging in fakery. I'm not talking about him. I'm not concerned what he says because he's the, not a doctor. There's another doctor on your panel who's trying to tell you all the facts about this whole issue. Then there's one other gentleman who's saying that it's not certified. Point here is on that platform it was announced that it is a COVID medicine, whereas yes. whereas it is not. Then you come out and say that it was an immunity booster. Do not mislead people because in times like these, people are so afraid. People are, you know, in panic regarding this pandemic. Don't mislead them. They might end up taking something which they shouldn't be taking. So the fact of the matter is, I repeat it again. In Maharashtra, unless a competent authority certified this coronal, we will not allow it to be sold. We will not play with the lives of the people. That is a fact. Okay, I think it's been uh, uh, the, the debate here uh, really is about what was claimed earlier and what was uh, clarified. And of course, uh, there are also nuances about allopathy versus Ayurveda. Uh, a fight whether what the uh, the IMA believes need uh, is required as basic certification versus what. The Ayush Ministry may want to give a certification. The court, the fact that Coronel is an immunity booster is not contested anywhere. Beyond that, we now do know that WHO has not given any certificate for Coronel, and that the certificate that's even come in from our Ayush Ministry is not necessarily for a treatment drug for coronavirus. Uh, but the IMA clearly. Putting a question mark on why was the government and why were the ministers present at such an event? Were they really endorsing what was being claimed? Completely out of time. Thank you so much for joining us on this conversation.